Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to experiment with a homemade pouring medium and some milk paint. Um, I've used the milk paint before with Floetrol and got some um, really fun effects. Here's one I did. I think it's video number 47 or 48. I just looked it up and I've already forgotten because I'm old. <laughs> then I put one coat of DecoArt top coat on there and look at that shine. I just I just love it. I think it really came to life. As you know, I love to embellish pores, but this one certainly was interesting enough on its own and didn't need anything added to it. So that's that. So I'm doing that again today, but with, the, as I said, the homemade pouring medium, I've got a big batch of it made up and I need to use it. So colors today are Art Mines, uh, brushed metallics in rose gold and dark gold. This is wine. It's an outdoor paint by Art Mines. And black and white. Now in the, in the white I've added some milk paint. Folk art milk paint. I got this on clearance, so I don't know if they're making it anymore, but um, a little goes a long way. I'll put the ratios and the recipe down below. And well, let's get started. Now, oh, let me just mention I'm always a little hesitant to use black and white in the same pour because I don't like ending up with gray, but I'm buffering it with other colors, so hopefully it won't be an issue. I do like the drama that black brings to a painting. So here we go. I'm going to start with the wine. So I have a dark center. black is a little on the thick side and maybe that will work in my favor keep it from blending so much with the other colors we shall see there's rose gold and now the white with the milk paint dark gold And repeat. One thing I noticed with the um, outdoor paint, and that was on sale, this was $4 for this 16 ounce jar. It's amazing. It comes in beautiful colors. Um, I think it kind of tends to set up, it's kind of enamel like, and it tends to set up a little quicker. So you have to work well, maybe a little faster than you do with regular acrylics. Uh, one more layer. Maybe I'll skip the black this time. And white as well. I, I think I'll um, pour a puddle on here. Just to give a little head start with the uh, moving around. And boy, I've had such fun with the stick thing lately. I put a stick over the cup and pour, but um, I think I'll just do a straight pour. This time, don't want to introduce too many elements to, to this. I'm experimenting with a medium mainly. So, okay, here we go. Just a straight pour, but I am rotating the cup a little bit. Oops, <laughs> I am so left-handed, it's very awkward for me to use my right hand. Okay. 
Okay, reaching the end here. Okay, stop now. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun. I like that a lot. Uh, one notation, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, if you use this pouring medium, you've got to have good ventilation. It contains polycrylic, and you don't want to be breathing that. So, okay, let's move it around. Oh, you know what? I got a brand new torch the other day. It's not working. <laughs> let's see if my old one is. Oh, old one's working. It wasn't the other day. That's why I bought a new one. But, okay, it doesn't seem to be doing too much. Popping a few air bubbles, perhaps. All right. I just don't have my new one adjusted correctly, I think. Okay, let's uh, move it around. Now, I like this, so I want to preserve that. There's not much going on over here, so... What I'm going to do is go this way first, and then when I come back, I can get rid of some of that if I if it doesn't magically change and look wonderful. So go over here. I did end up with a lot of gray, but it's kind of interesting along with the... Um, rose gold and you know you can't tell at this stage it's way too early to call it a success or a fail <laughs> it's kind of pretty over here let's bring that down So far, I'm not loving it. Neither do I hate it. So it could it may be salvageable. Just keep going. I'm not um, saying anything because I can't think of anything. <laughs> it's very dramatic. I will give it that.
I know if I put a base coat down, it would move faster, but I just can't waste that much paint. I just can't do it. I'm frugal. Wow. I was thinking of ways I may rescue this, but I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not into gray so much, but um, that pop of wine color in there is quite interesting. What else do I want to do to it? Uh, I'm going to hit it with the torch and see if anything else happens. No. I would say nothing is happening. Nothing discernible. I don't hate it. You know, gray is neutral. <laughs> Somebody might like that. And I think in a, in a white frame, it would look really sharp. Let me um, bring you in for a closer look. my reflection out of there. I don't, I don't want to be seen. <laughs> Which reminds me that my profile picture on my YouTube was kind of a joke. When I signed up back in December, started my channel, you have to give a photo. And so at the time, I had a terrible case of poison oak all over my face. And so there was no way I was going to put up a current photo. And I just don't get my picture taken very often. And I had this old glamour shot from, gosh, had to be 30 plus years ago, about 30 years ago. So that's what that was. It's kind of a joke. And now, you know, what the heck? <laughs> so I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> and nobody takes glamour shots anymore. I don't think so. It's it's kind of a joke. I hope uh, everyone understands it. Okay, well, you know what? I I think I like this. I was uncertain. I, I don't... Yeah, I, I think I do like it. Please tell me what you think. Um, when this dries, I'm going to put a top coat on it and put it in a white frame and show you. I think we might be pleasantly surprised. Okay, folks. Well, thanks for joining me. Happy painting. Bye now.